Hi, I'm Dan Wolf, veterinary ophthalmologist from the Southern Eye Clinic for Animals in Tampa, Florida. Today we're going to be discussing tonometry in our veterinary patients, specifically in dogs. Tonometry is an essential part of many examinations for your veterinary patients. Uh, it is important to determine any abnormality in the eye if it relates to change in intraocular pressure. Intraocular pressure is an important piece of data to determine the cause of an abnormal eye. Is that red eye just conjunctivitis or does it imply that there's uveitis and or glaucoma in that eye? Very important information in determining your therapeutic plan for our veterinary patients. The tonometer that fits this description nicely is the Eye Care Tonovet. It has an attractive ergonomic design. It's easy to use and it has interesting technology that's fun to explain to the curious owners. The principle of the Eye Care Tonovet is rebound tonometry, meaning that an object that is thrust against a surface rebounds at a speed proportional to the pressure of that surface such as a golf ball bouncing off a tile floor or a hard floor versus a carpeted floor. The speed at which the plastic bead rebounds from the cornea is proportional to the intraocular pressure and can be measured by the Tonovet. Using the Tonovet, pressing the measure button will give a display of load. This indicates the pin can be inserted into the magnetic chamber. The plastic cap is removed, the metal pin is allowed to fall into the chamber and pressing the button again will magnetize the pin. When using the Tonovet, the magnetized pin should be parallel to the floor, not tilted up or down or sideways. However, if you do tilt it, you will receive an error message on the display and that reading will not be counted. Today we're going to be demonstrating the Tonovet and volunteering as our patient is a little gidget here and she's going to be very cooperative and we're going to demonstrate the technique of uh, proper restraint and manipulation of the eye for using the Tonovet. When we're measuring, always be careful not to look at the display. Always look at the patient so you can position the bead appropriately. And it's helpful to rest the Tonovet against your hand to stabilize it so you don't poke the patient in the eye and maintain the proper distance. So we're establishing a distance between the white bead and the cornea approximately equal to the distance of the silver collar on the Tonovet. In opening the lids for the procedure itself, always apply no more tension than necessary. Excess tension on the lids or excess restraint will erroneously elevate the intraocular pressure. The bead is placed in the center of the cornea and it again is important not to look at the display but continue to take readings. Gidget is a very cooperative patient, but in patients that need more restraint, it's important to remember that the assistant or the doctor should not put any undue pressure on the neck or the head. Any twisting of the head, raising up and down, or resistance that the patient is giving you will cause the pressure to be abnormal. In patients that are not as cooperative as Gidget, you may want to evaluate a single reading. Be careful, however, because the first reading is the only one that is an actual single reading. Subsequent readings are all averages. As with any technology, regardless of the type of tonometer you're using, repeated readings to make sure it's accurate are essential. It's also very important to do the opposite eye since the comparison is an important aspect of your information in evaluating an eye problem. Another nice feature of the Tonovet is it can be used and calibrated for different species the dog, the cat, and the horse with special calibration and settings available. We mentioned the low maintenance of the Tonovet and it's important to occasionally clean the probe base as directed by the manufacturer's video in order to maintain accurate results for your patients. As part of being easy to use, the Tonovet can be used without topical anesthetic. Now if the eye is anesthetized, this will not affect the results, but anesthesia is not necessary because of the very low impact on the cornea. The Tonovet is also accurate if there is a corneal ulcer on the cornea, whether it fluorescine has been previously applied or not. It's helpful to try to avoid the actual ulcer if you can, but nevertheless, the results are accurate um, even in the face of an ulcer. So in summary, measuring intraocular pressure 
is very important information in formulating an ophthalmic diagnosis and treatment. And the Tonovet is an essential and invaluable part of the general practice. Thank you.